Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we turn to talking about one of the late night TV show hosts, none other than The Tonight Show's Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon is, along with a lot of other Jimmys, these late night hosts have become more and more left leaning over the years, almost to the point where you can't even watch their shows. Now, granted, Jimmy Fallon's actually not the worst case here. He's just one of the many that are kind of falling in line with this new liberal domination. Probably the worst would be someone more like Jimmy Kimmel or even Stephen Colbert, who go after President Trump much more viciously. Jimmy Fallon, on the other hand, he goes and he leans left too, for sure. But he's more subtle about it. He doesn't necessarily bash the president as much, but he does prop up a lot of left wingers for sure. And he's supported people like Hillary and other Democrats over the years, Obama, stuff like that. So there's certainly a bias there, and that's important, and that's relevant for today's story, because recently, Jimmy Fallon got canceled this weekend. There's a hashtag going around, Jimmy Fallon is over party, and it popped up because of a previous sketch he did on Saturday Night Live. Apparently, this sketch from all the way back in the year 2000, 20 years ago, and now it's getting Jimmy Fallon into some trouble. It's a little offensive these days, at least according to some leftists. And this is just another classic case of liberals turning on each other and eating their own. This is something that conservatives are smart enough to mostly avoid unless something really, really bad happens and we have to call someone out. For the most part, there's a little bit more unity on the right-wing side. But left-wingers, I mean, forget about it. They go after everyone for any little thing. They have so many strict rules, too, about political correctness and SJW culture. It's only a matter of time for you to get called out, especially if you're a comedian. If you do any kind of comedy, late-night, acting work, stand-up, you're really going to get yourself into trouble eventually because left-wingers are just so strict about stuff. And that's what's happening this weekend. That's what's happening with Jimmy Fallon. We're going to talk more about that story soon, too, get you the details, talk about what sketch got him into trouble and why. But first, let's take a quick moment to check out our sponsor. Okay, guys, I am really excited about these special floodlights. I've been using them at my home, and they are just simply amazing. They're lightweight. They have a really bright light on them and two different sensors, too. I didn't actually get how it all worked until I tried one, and you're going to be really surprised and really pleased if you try this out, too. The lights are so cool. They have a solar sensor. That means they only go on at night, and then they also have a motion sensor, which means they'll stay off until someone walks by and kicks on the motion. Make sure you check them out. Floodlights by No BS. Check out the link below, only in the description. Gonna be awesome. Hopefully you guys will try them. Great, now that that's out of the way, let's get back to the Jimmy Fallon story. Jimmy Fallon recently got into some trouble because an old sketch popped up, and as promised, we're gonna talk more about it right now. Here's an article from the New York Post that has more details. It says, why Jimmy Fallon is over party is trending. Jimmy Fallon did transracial makeup in 2000. This, of course, is called something else, depending on who you ask. And yes, apparently in this day and age, you can't do like jokes or impressions of other races and genders. That's called offensive automatically. It doesn't matter what you say. We don't even need to see the sketch or the images. That's just automatically racist now. And this is kind of a new turn because back in the day, like we could see in this sketch, this thing's from 20 years ago. It's from Saturday Night Live. We're going to get more details on it in the article. But already we know things have changed a lot in the culture. Things have changed a lot in comedy. Now, this goes back 20 years. That's actually a long time. You could really just go back five Five or so and get to the same kind of feeling. Five years ago, things used to be more edgy and funny. Before 2015, comics could still get away with stuff. There were still shows on like The Office up until 2013, which granted was a very PG show, but they still slipped in a few edgy jokes in there, including a joke similar to Jimmy Fallon's. They had transracial makeup in one bit that I specifically remember. It was really quick, didn't last long, but that kind of thing would not fly in this day and age, and that's because PC culture is on the rise. Liberals are really strict. They're really um, heightened, and their senses are on alert for anything to do with race. And the basic premise to that is they just really want to call everyone racist. They want to act like they're better than everyone. They virtue signal, pretend they know everything, and kind of act like a Karen or a teacher saying, oh, you can't do this, you can't talk about that. They love to have control and call people out. So calling out this transracial makeup, as I like to call it, yes, that's a new thing 
that's been popping up a lot recently. We actually covered another story like this just a few weeks ago whenever uh, people kind of rediscovered the film Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder came out in 2008 and it had a scene where Robert Downey Jr. wore transracial makeup. Actually, he wore it for like half the movie. And yeah, nowadays you can't get away with that. In 2008, it was still funny. Granted, I'm sure there were still a few people complaining back then, but it wasn't the norm. It wasn't the greater percentage of people like what's going on now, like what's happening with Jimmy Fallon. So with that said, without further ado, let's get some more details and see how silly this thing goes. Jimmy Fallon is catching heat on social media over a resurfaced 2000 Saturday Night Live sketch featuring the former cast member in transracial makeup. The 45-year-old host of The Tonight Show went viral on Twitter overnight following a tweet with the hashtag Jimmy Fallon is over party and a 20-year-old SNL clip featuring Daryl Hammond and Fallon face painted brown doing an impersonation of Chris Rock. Okay, so they're doing another joke, another joke about another SNL cast member, another comedian that they all know and love. I mean, I'm sure it was probably just a goof. It wasn't respectful. It wasn't like going to be actually racist content in there. Like, granted, we can give you the benefit of the doubt on the left wing side. We recognize this can be offensive. It's not like it's always okay. But for the most part, for in general, like if it's a joke, even if it's a bad joke, like I'll let it go. I don't really care if it is a little too far or something. Like I'm not one to take offense from much of anything. But in this situation, what's interesting is the left turning on itself and Jimmy Fallon getting the brunt of it, which kind of sucks because, again, he was one of the more mild late-night hosts. He's one that I kind of tried to like, but at the same time, he played into all this liberal stuff. He made this bed, and now he has his people kind of turning on him, and that's what's most interesting here. And really, we have nothing against the kind of transracial makeup and the whole thing like we're not uh, worried about that as much it can be offensive it can't be i think people should have the freedom to do it and it's ridiculous for them to attack it the vintage skit posted by chef boyardeer is captioned with the sentence nbc fired megan kelly for mentioning transracial makeup jimmy fallon performed on nbc in the same thing so that's a very interesting kind of contradiction kind of a funny Thing to point out, you know, showing how ridiculous it is. Megyn Kelly just mentioned it, and she was on NBC, and that got her fired. But Jimmy Fallon performed in it, and he's still okay. He's still leading one of their top shows. The Tonight Show is like a legendary institution at NBC. Uh, Megyn Kelly, another character to explain her, she was actually previously a Fox host, and she's still, I think, a conservative leading woman. But she granted, she turned on the whole movement. She went anti-Trump. She got Trump derangement syndrome back in 2015. And so she's kind of a, a player that left the side and she actually went to the left side. She went to NBC. She tried to cross pass and that's actually her kind of getting her comeuppance too. Granted, I'm not asking for anyone to like get fired or get removed. I'm not really calling for that but whenever they switch sides whenever they pull stuff like this and you see them kind of getting turned on by the people they thought were embracing them it's kind of fun to watch it's kind of like a good kind of oh we were right kind of moment so we're vindicated is basically what i'm saying the ensuing lament over the beloved broadcaster's now tarnished reputation was swift I know I did not just open Twitter and see that Jimmy Fallon did transracial makeup in 2000. Nobody is safe from Twitter when we got this much time on our hand. First Lana, then Doja Cat, now Jimmy Fallon. Please let me catch my breath. Hashtag Jimmy Fallon is over party, said a bewildered at rat gang 48 on Twitter. Representatives for Fallon did not re immediately respond to the post's request for comment. And yeah, it's troubling. It's a scary time to be a comic. That's another great point to come out of this. There's really nothing you could get away with anymore. Everything is offensive now. Everything is kind of scrutinized. Comics can't get away with doing impressions, having fun, doing kinds of any kind of character outside of your own race, which is kind of limiting. I mean, I understand where they're coming from again, but I just don't get the whole backlash to the transracial makeup. It's just really, I think there's their way of trying to attack people mainly. And here's the thing that I don't get and I don't like is this is kind of an anti-white thing. This this is something they only go after white people for. They only want to attack straight white men, usually people like Jimmy Fallon. 
people like Robert Downey Jr. We mentioned about the other video, other character actors like that, doing these strong characters, doing them for fun, doing them to really make fun of the idea of transracial makeup in a lot of ways. They're trying to repeal this idea. They're goofing on it too as they use it. And it's just kind of messed up to see the liberals take it so far and kind of ruining comedy. This is another big note is this is what's ruining comedy. These guys are controlling the mainstream media. The leftists have control of the major networks, the news, a lot of the internet and social media sites. So all this stuff is turned into hate speech now. You can't make jokes about race, about, you know, sex fun stuff, you know, interesting stuff. This is what bread and butter of comedy used to be. This is what sitcoms used to be about. Even the most PG of sitcoms, like Friends. Friends is another comedy that gets in trouble nowadays, actually. Believe it or not, like Friends used to be just the most milk toast kind of average comedy, like never would offend anyone. But nowadays, people are going back and watching old episodes of Friends and saying, oh, this is anti-gay people or something like this joke went too far about this alphabet group and it's just coming becoming ridiculous and you know it's ridiculous when they go after a show like Saturday Night Live and Jimmy Fallon who's pretty much you know he's a great guy he's done nothing wrong he's got no enemies really I mean you could like or love his show I always have a disagreed with his left-leaning politics but again he's one of the good ones out there as far as all the late night shows go like he's definitely not the worst he keeps it pretty cool he does cool songs and stuff too like you know he's trying his best he's trying to entertain people and to see him kind of getting tearing apart is definitely upsetting Alas, the trending Twitter topic provided a moment to redrag every other celebrity who has worn transracial makeup or engaged in racial epitaphs. So Jimmy Fallon is canceled for this, but Justin Trudeau does it a dozen times throughout his youth, and he's still re-elected as PM. So that's an interesting point. We do have proof of Justin in transracial makeup, and he's the leader of Canada. But, I mean, who really cares about Canada? Hello, RDJ, anyone? People here are talking about Tropic Thunder, where he played an actor that was playing transracial makeup in a Vietnam War movie. That's what we already talked about. That's a great comparison, too. I'm glad I made it ahead of this article, so I'm kind of one step ahead, as usual. Unfortunately, this gets mentioned, tweeted about once a year without a peep of an apology from Jimmy. Tweeted that Chelsea girl along with a link to a 2019 Jezebel article calling out Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, and Sarah Silverman over long past transgressions. Kimmel and Silverman, for their parts, responded to the controversies at the time of their resurfacing. So these are other comics who got caught wearing the same kind of makeup and it got them in trouble. They responded. They're the more radical far leftists. I think Jimmy's trying to just move on and, you know, try to not acknowledge it, not fan the flames. And I understand that. Like I said, he's probably the least offensive one here. I think with Jimmy and Sarah too, it's actually more offensive because it's more hypocritical. They're very outspoken, like pro-SJW, pro-liberal, pro-leftist and Democrat and all that stuff. So when you go back, people are going to want to be go back and see their old sketches and say, hey, you're calling someone out for this and you wore this, you know. But with Fallon, I don't see it. Like maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there's more to it. You guys could tell me in the comments below. But as far as I know, like I've said, Fallon's not the worst of it. So it's more of a mild claim against him. And it's more to me about, you know, Fallon shouldn't have caved in. He shouldn't have, you know, kind of kowtow to Democrats. He should have been on his own because they're now turning on him, even though he had catered to them. And in addition, this is an end to comedy, a negative part about comedy and how the liberals are kind of just ruining things that used to be funny. Some initial reactions were exasperated over so-called cancel culture. Y'all whack. How long ago was this? This was Saturday Night Live. No one can be famous anymore because We've all done something the society of 20 years from now doesn't like. Can we stop trying to cancel people on their past and focus on the present? Really great point, actually. Uh, and I like the fact that they're looking forward to because something we do now, 20 years from now, is going to be considered offensive. And I think this actually is a good point to go back to the whole time travel aspect to this. It doesn't really make sense. I mean, 20 years doesn't seem like a big deal, but the left tries to do this a lot with a lot more time travel. Like, for example when they go back like a hundred years and they try to like hold stuff against these Americans from 
a century ago where the rules and laws were all far, far different. Sometimes they go hunt back hundreds of years, go back to our early times with different problems and issues in society, class systems and stuff like that. And it just doesn't make sense. And I think it holds up for this too, because you could easily say like comedy was different back then. I say that to myself. I say that about stuff I tweeted from four years ago. You know, like I, people always try to bring up old tweets and stuff from like 2016, 2017. And I'm like, dude, you could actually joke around back then. There wasn't as much cancel culture either. So the fact that people try to, try to time travel like that, usually liberals, it's really not a good look and it's really bad to, for them. And it shows how bad faith they are. Well, Fallon shouldn't have did what he did, but hey guys, why not cancel Lauren Michaels? He approved the sketch too. Lauren Michaels has a problem giving people of color and women of color a seat at Saturday Night Live's table for the last 50 years. So they're kind of going after the whole Saturday Night Live show. Just that one's kind of fanning the flames of cancel culture. And I think that's the final note here is that cancel culture is just really negative And it just is very terrible. It's these leftists trying to take people down, trying to take away their lives, their jobs, their livelihood, you know, the way they feed their families, the way they entertain people. Like lots of people like Jimmy Fallon's show. It really shows how far and how terrible they've become. That about wraps things up. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below. What do you think about Jimmy? What do you think about this transracial makeup controversy, his old sketches, traveling back in time 20 years, all that fun stuff. Comment it all below. Leave a like to help support this video and until next time you guys have a good one